In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the hydrostatic force on an object submerged in the water. So the problem is, a dam has the shape of a trapezoid with the height of 20 meters. The width is 50 meters at the top and 30 meters at the bottom. The water is 4 meters from the top of the dam. We have to find the force on the dam due to hydrostatic pressure. So I've drawn this diagram and our trapezoid is submerged in the water but not all the way because there's 4 meters between the top and the surface of the water. The height is 20 meters as you can see and the width is 50 meters at the top and 30 meters at the bottom. The first step is to put the x and the y axis on this shape. So I've put the x axis at the bottom of the trapezoid and here is the positive direction. The y axis is in the middle of the object and the positive direction is upwards. And because the distance here is 30 meters, then we know for sure that the distance from here to here is 15. That's why it's 15 here and over here is also 15. So this is negative 15. The height is 20 meters. So you can see this is 0, this is 20. And because there's a distance of 4 meters from here, then we know that this value is 16. To calculate the hydrostatic force, the idea is to find the force of this stripe acting on the object and then find the force of this stripe acting on the object and then the force of this stripe then this drive. So you get the idea. We keep doing that until we reach the surface of the water and then we add all of those forces together which gives us our hydrostatic force. So let's say that this is our stripe. Let's say this is our stripe. Then the distance from the center to our stripe is y. The distance from here to here is going to be x. But we also know that because the y-axis divides this shape in half, then the distance over here is also x. So the total distance of the stripe or the length is equal to 2 times x. And here is the formula to calculate the hydrostatic force. And let's solve this formula together. So what is A and what is B? Well, we want to find the hydrostatic force act because of the water, which is from here to 16, right? So A is 0 and B is 16. What is the density? Well, I've put this table here and because the problem is in meters, then the density will be 9,800. How about the length? Well, we want to find the length of the stripe. And as mentioned before, it's going to be 2x. But the formula wants everything to be in terms of y, so we have to convert the x to the y. And let me show you how to do it. If you look here, this point is going to be 15, 0, right? This is the point on the x and the y axis, so let's write it out. How about this point here? Well, the distance from here to here is half of 50. We know that from here to here is 50. So from here to here is 25. And the height is 20. Let's calculate the slope. We get 0 minus 20 over 15 minus 25. That's going to give us negative 20 over negative 10, which is going to be 2. And using the linear formula, we have the slope 2x plus b, and we have to substitute one or these two points. Let's substitute this one. So the y is 0, the x is 15. So 2 times 15 plus b. b is going to be negative 30. So we get y is equal to 2x minus 30. Let's solve for x. So in this equation that we just found out, we get y plus 30 is equal to 2x. And then x is going to be 1 over 2y plus 15. So the length is 2x, which means 2 times 1 over 2y plus 15. That's going to be y plus 30. Let's put it back into the length here. Last but not least, we need to find the depth. So the depth is the distance between our stripe to the surface level of the water. So that's going to be this distance. We want to find this depth right there. Well, first things first, we know that the distance, let's use, let's use yellow this time. So the distance between the x-axis to the surface level of the water, that's going to be 16, right? You can see here is 0, that's 16. So the yellow distance is going to be 16. Well, if we take the yellow distance and we minus y, we're going to get the green distance. So the depth is just basically 16 minus y. This integral is very easy to do, so let me save you your time, and after you solve it, you should get 4.4 times 10 to the power of 7. 
And what's the unit? Well, looking at this table, the problem is in meters, so the final answer is force, which is newtons. In the next video, I will show you how to calculate the hydrostatic force when the shape is a circle.